Hey Aries, how you doing? Going to be doing your reading here for March. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, keep in mind these are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone out there. And uh, we're going to get right into it here for you guys. <clears throat> Let's see what we got going on for you guys in March. Could be love, could be career. Let's see what comes out. Okay. First card. We do have the Knight of Swords that comes out here for you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Could be dealing with one, but um, you know, I kind of feel like this is you maybe even taking charge and moving forward in something here. Let's see. The King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. But I feel like this is you. I feel like this is you focusing on your finances, uh, making some changes here. Okay. Um, maybe for the, you know, in the past, it's something that, um, you've been thinking about for a while now, um, you know, which direction you want to go towards, what do you want to do? You know, what, what excites you? Um, you know, eight of pentacles, this is you really working hard and learning. Um, it, it's kind of learning your craft, you know, it's kind of like, you can see her in the picture. Um, you know, you have all the other objects there and she's kind of, she's kind of sitting over there, you know, just really learning everything. And, um, and then I feel like that's kind of your energy here, just kind of, or has been just really looking into a situation. Let's see. We do have two cards here, so I'm going to take them. Uh, four of Wands, and then we also have a Tower. Let's see what that's all about. Could be a family situation or a celebration here, an argument. Uh, let's see. But there's something here that changes a path here for you. Um, we have Strength, all right. Leo Energy. The Nine of Wands, that is your energy, protecting your energy here. Nine of Wands also is just, you know, you've been through a lot, you know, and it's kind of like you're in this stage, I think, of, um, or going to be getting into really taking some rest too for yourself, recharging your energy a little bit. Let's see. The Four of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. The Fool. And the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Interesting. Two of Cups, too. So, you know, with the world there, or the wheel, for some of you guys, not for everyone, but I feel like there could have been a separation, okay? Maybe you separated with somebody, um, started a new cycle here for you. Um, you know, you were heartbroken. This is definitely a connection, okay? Um, I feel like that... For a lot of you guys, it kind of pushed you in a different direction, but it's a good direction here. It's making you take, um, you know, it's making you go towards new opportunities here, uh, which is leading towards your Ten of Pentacles. Um, we're going to have to see what this tower is all about here, but maybe something comes up here for you guys where in the month of March that um, it could just be a realization of something. Um, and again, I see there's a feeling of like, having not know where to go, what career you want to do, what, you know, what makes you happy, you know? And I feel like you're starting to get in this, this stage of really thinking about it, you know, and taking some time out, resting a little bit. Um, and the four of wands energy, this is, you know, this is a card of stability and maybe moving in towards that, but it's also a card of like getting together with friends, family, partying a little bit and stuff like that. But I feel like you're starting, you're going to realize that maybe that's not, helping you move forward towards your Ten of Pentacles. It's like holding you back. All right, Aries, that's kind of what I see here. All right, but let's let's see what's going on. Let's clarify the tower for you guys. What is the tower here? Let me get this one. Uh, can't even shuffle today. Come on. What is a tower for Aries? The Six of Pentacles. Interesting. So for a lot of you guys, you understand, you have the Empress here. It doesn't matter male or female. It just shows that you understand your value. You know, maybe you were giving too much in a situation in the past um, overworking yourself, you know, putting a lot of time and energy into a company, 
um, and not seeing much results. The six of six of pentacles tells me that you realize that you want some some sort of e equal uh, give and take, you know, um, something to where you put in enough to where you receive just that that same amount. And you can see in the card, you know, this person's kind of breadcrumbing that person. You don't want to be breadcrumbed. Um, you know, you really you're going towards something that you feel like you've earned, not deserved what you've earned. OK, there's a big difference there. Um, so I feel like you've worked very hard, Eight of Pentacles, and you're moving towards your stability here. Of course, the Ten of Pentacles is there. You're getting it. And I feel like, again, for a lot of you guys, there is there's some sort of disconnection or an argument with somebody it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. It's a separation. Um, that that pushed you towards this direction here, okay? Um, it's all because you've worked on yourself and understand your value more. Um, let's see this Four of Wands. What is that all about here? The Ace of Pentacles. All right. So, see, the Four of Wands here, when I mentioned earlier, you know, it's about stability as well as, you know, you can see the, the girls here, they're dancing around. Um, you know, having a good time, and, and that's another part of it too. But with the Ace of Pentacles clarifying it, I feel like you've made this decision that you want to move towards a, a solid stability for you, financially for you, your family, um, you know, whatever it is. Uh, you possibly could, you could have um, went into the hangman um, energy, Pisces energy here, and just kind of took some time out and, uh, you know, maybe even, like I said, rested. I feel like there's a... a um, like an energy of resting and, and looking at things at a different perspective here and understanding what you really want. That's really what this is all about. I feel like in March, that's kind of the direction that you're going to be moving towards here. Let's see what this Four of Cups is all about. Two of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody, for some of you guys, it could be dealing with the water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio doesn't necessarily have to be, but somebody juggled you. Okay. Um, and maybe that's the person that put you in the three of swords, but they do miss you now. Um, let's see. Page of wands, the ace of wands. Yeah. So this person in the past, if you were dealing with somebody here, they're definitely seeing your growth and you moving forward here. And, uh, and now probably wants to come in with some sort of offer or maybe wants to start something new here with you. Um, you know, they could be just regretting their, their actions, but I mean, let's see what, what are you going to do with this, Aries? If this does resonate with some of you guys, let's see if you're going to go back to a past person here. Yeah, you're going to walk away. See, so Eight of Cups here, you're walking away from, and it's also water energy again, but you're walking away from that um, because I think you're starting to see your potential, you know, magician at the bottom of the deck here too. So Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, you're wanting an even give and take relationship, doesn't matter romantic or work. Um, definitely feel like money anyway, eight of pentacles, king of pentacles, more pentacles, just, it's just, just, it, there, there's a focus on money. All right. Um, so I do feel like that, um, you are moving towards that direction here in the month of March. Um, let's see what this nine of wands is all about. I feel like that is your energy. Knight of swords and the knight of wands. Interesting. So yeah, that's, um. There is fast movement coming towards you. I feel like, so this this little area right here has to do with the past person. I feel like they want to move forward and maybe offer something pretty quick with you. Again, you have the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Wands, some sort of passionate um, restart here with you. Um, but, you know, and you have the Chariot here too, so Cancer Energy. So I don't, I, I, like I said, I feel like that you're walking away from that, but... I get one more card on it and see what's going on with nine of wands. The higher font, interesting. And the sun, okay. So for a lot of you guys, you guys might be some sort of like a healer or someone that helps others, uh, maybe like a life coach or something like that. Um, I feel like that you might go to like a institution or someone reaches out from that um, from that because they kind of see you as being a leader, okay? Someone that can teach others. And I feel like this is going to make you very happy, and that might propel you here towards your Ten of Pentacles. Um, let's see. What is the Fool all about then? Death and the Magician, and then Hermit. Um, so, you know, Aries, I, I think... 
you are real in the month of March here. If you guys have not already, I feel like you're going to have a new sense of direction with the tower. Okay. Realizing you, what you want, your path, what you, what, in, what makes you happy. Okay. The sun, um, you're walking away from anything in the past. The fool tells me that you've ended anything in the past and you're starting something new here for yourself because the magician is, is manifesting their own thing here. And you're the magician and you're getting towards your ten of pentacles and you're leaving behind anything that has hurt you um, and and again take what resonates but anything that you know if this is a friendship a relationship um, a past company whatever it is you're letting go of all that and moving towards something here that is gonna be very financially um, good for you um, you're gonna be very happy but remember I said the hermit you know um, or taking some time out for resting that that's what I what I see you doing here okay I do see that is that the devil moving away okay so I mean like the devil's also about because we do see Pentacles here I don't feel anything toxic in your reading to be honest um, I just feel like that you know there is a past person coming in which I feel like you're walking away from that um, the devil tells me that um, you know it's it's tied in with materialistic things all right so Money is on your mind. You're focusing on that. Maybe you're looking at buying a new house. Uh, you know, there's there's things here that you're focusing on obtaining, and that's why the devil energy is there. But again, the hermit is the only thing I can really see in your reading is t recharging your batteries. You know, that's really what it what I see here. Um, but that's really that's about it. I mean, there's not much else. Uh, I mean, again, this is just a general march, but. It's really moving towards something that you that makes you happy. Strength. This tells me that you, you you're building up confidence in the month, or you're starting that. Um, so, yeah, that's what I see for you, Aries. Um, let me get you guys an oracle then, and we'll close this out. I'll be coming out with some weeklies here too, just to kind of check in on the energy. But um, either way, here financially, things are looking good. You are the magician here, so you are manifesting something. Something nice for you, but it's just the beginning, all right? Just the start, just the start of it. Um, let's see. We have the Sea Goddess of Creativity. All right, let's see what that's all about. Number 27 might mean something to you or might not. Let's see. There's a lot of writing in this, so I'm not going to read you the whole thing, but um, let's see. All right, so that's your card, Aries. Um, so fresh creative joy is what that is, all right? So I celebrate my creativity daily in fresh ways so I access long periods of flow that calibrate my consciousness to a higher vibration. I wake up excited every day because I am eager to experiment with that, with what I can create and share with others. So creativity, you know, Aries, it's just, like I said, it's like this beginning um, you know, like your energy is like just like kind of, kind of coming into something. Um, that's really what it is. And I feel like in the month of March, it's moving towards a lot. And for some of you guys, you know, if you are waiting for someone from the past, uh, maybe you are thinking about that person. Um, when they do come, I, I, I feel like it's a switch. Like, I feel like by that time, it's going to be lined up in a way that you're going to see something totally different that you want to move forward. Um, but a lot of it is just kind of taking some time out resting so you can really see what you want to do and, and I feel like you're getting into that energy here. Okay um, So that is your reading Aries uh, hit the like subscribe if, if you have not already and um, Until next time, we'll see you. you guys have a good one